Well, hello, my welcome back to the channel. Just a Doncaster this morning, just picking up our trailer that's in front of us now for our job today. We've got ghoul for eight o'clock, and we believe we've got a real we've got a second job at the town London Gateway. It currently is if a watch can turn on or it can't. The touch screen don't always work on this, it's not always reliable. I think it's the 20, 28th, I think, today. Thursday, 28th of March. Good Friday, tomorrow, so. We, um, we're getting a bank holiday running out of this at the minute. Got a suspension up to pick this trailer up. And we're good to go, so yeah, Adele's just dropped this off for us. So we've um, she managed to get the box on for us and then just come and dropped it now for us. So that's really helped us out this morning. Um, said yesterday in end up video that we only had 15 left for today. That isn't actually true. I don't know if some of you will point me out to it or not um, in yesterday's video, but we got split break on Monday. So that means we get an extra 15. So that 15 hours that we used on Monday, because we went over the 13 hours, doesn't count but it does it does count but it does we get an extra one you know, we saved that one so we've actually got 15 hours for today so we've got to a quarter to nine not quarter to seven so that's brilliant so i'll go start rambling on get off hook this trailer up while it's not raining at the minute and we'll probably go grab some diesel as well somewhere on the way this morning there we go we got our trailer on for this job well, we've got our trailer back on now for the day really again and for our level on we have it um we're gonna go to glues and go get diesel i'll attempt to go to morrison's we could sometimes get more points in there as well you know every little helps in it just to um we should try but yeah i think if we go to um glues we're pretty much on top of the job so you know we will have it pretty much covered by then so that'll be that'll be all good it's currently got us there at 10 to 7 it's booked for 8 o'clock so you know if we're 20 minutes in it glues waiting for a pump and getting fuel and then i'm not sure whether to fill up ablu or let it run right down to see if it can clear the ablu injector issue but you know, we're still waiting for it to fail but we'll see it's 28 percent on ablu so we've probably got another week on it to be fair but we can always grab it later as well today if we need to so i think we'll probably just go grab diesel and then see what it's looking like from there but yeah we're 17 percent diesel this morning so we definitely need definitely need that this is waste paper we're picking up oh yeah eh? it's a windy one this morning cold as well it is cold it ain't half turned it's not half turned for easter weekend again six degrees at the moment this morning so yeah i'm glad we got 15 left and glad i remembered that we got a split break on monday so we're nearing four hours there i think getting tipped i know we're definitely over three i'll double confirm it when i get to the job here i'll do a do a print out and we'll we'll see what um how long we actually were on break but i'm definitely sure it will over three hours on monday so that's all good on that so let's get onwards towards glues go see what it looks like there and get some fuel in and then get round to the job at higgins recycling at goal well we um can't go the normal way to this job because it's, there's whereabouts we've got to turn right to get out of middle of howden it says uh, road closed follow this diversion which is nearly 20 mile so it, i think this is going to be a really finicky diversion this i don't know whether don't say where the road's closed don't say where it's closed it just says road ahead closed follow diversion so we could follow this and still be wrong side at diversion but we just don't know so let's go see where this is taking us then. Well, 
No, we're still following the diversion signs. I think. Road ahead closed. Shut both ends. Alright, we're, we're, we're screwed now. We've nowhere to turn. I, this country's just stupid at times. I couldn't even make that turn there. Couldn't even make that turn. Uh, I have to go find a number for these, try and ring them, because this is just stupid. I can't get in. Well, at the minute, we just don't know. We don't know. No, it's not showing on Google Maps that the road's closed, apparently. Um, we've got a number for them, but they won't pick up on it. Um, yeah. I <laughs> don't know what to do. So we're going to head back to Howden, try going that way because it's the shortest distance from the road closure. Um, yeah. Unbelievable, eh? They put no details up about, you know, road ahead closed access to business or whatever down there. It's just closed. It's such a pain, really a pain. You know, because we could get a mile and a half down road here, single track, well, narrow A road, and it's closed. And we can't turn around, we've got to reverse all the way back. You just don't know what way to go. We just do not know what way to go. Um, so, it's not great, it's not good, is it? It's not good enough, really, so. Onwards, and hopefully, shipper can get hold of them and get some it sorted. So, managed to speak to a driver on the phone that were here yesterday. He says he came in this way through Howden. So, we, um, sorry, it's just popping off on my phone. We've got other drivers coming here as well. So, we're coming through middle of Howden. She's got to come round to let us round. There's another truck behind us now, which is always fun. And we can't get any grip. There we go, we're round. Popular with this truck, I bet, coming through here. Um, yeah, so you'll see in a sec, road closed up here, but we're 2.5 miles away from the job. Um, it's, he came in this way, he says his lane's closed, but he got through. So we're gonna have to go down here and see what's what. So we've, got a, we've got a wagon behind us, a tanker. Don't know where he'll be going live, but... Well, this is where it's closed here, as you can see. Motorbike gone down it. Have to take the other side of the road, but... I just don't know where it's closed, you see. Tanker's, <laughs> Tanker's probably following me thinking, oh, he'll know where he's going. He must know where he's going. Um, I say we're 1.7 miles from turning off this road. Road ahead closed. Another sign. I don't think it's closed. I think, like I say, I think it's road works. I think it's road works. By the looks of it. If this all, if this is all it is, I'm going to be really cross. Because this is just ridiculous. If it is, if this is all it is, and it's open. Then it's took us an hour and nine minutes from Ghoul, from Glues so far to get here. You, know, you see a road closure sign, it's road closed isn't it, especially on roads like this, you don't want to mess about coming down it, you know, you just don't want to mess about coming down it, because, you know, you're buggered if you get stuck, you know where to turn around. So, 1.4 mile, still a car in front of us going up, Up to 757 it currently is at the minute. We could have been there at five past seven. 
you know, the road closures, such a pain. Especially when they're not closed. Potentially. You know, wait a minute, we're, we're a mile away from turning off. As long as we can get off this road, I couldn't care. There's a train coming at the level crossing, I can see light flashing already from here. Might just have passed by the time we get there, we might be alright. Yeah, it's, this, you know, it's frustrating if it's just that. It looks like it, doesn't it? it? Looks like that's all it is. Yeah, I should say I know this road. I know if I committed up here and it were closed here for say, we'd have to reverse all the way back. Still saying road ahead closed. Another sign as well. We're 0 0.7 mile, 0 0.7 mile from turning. We'll stop here. I bet it has been closed here and they've just opened it again. But that's what it is. It's mildly frustrating that, isn't it? Very frustrating. And to top it all off, we get a train coming. Oh dear. This is all centre triers, is this, innit? They must have been down quite a while, these barriers, because that bike turned just before us in front of this Mercedes, this black car. And I don't think that bike had been hanging around on these roads when it cleared to himself. So they've been down a while of these barriers. God knows, I think there's a station here as well to be fair. The train could be slowing down for the station as well, can it? But they've got cones as well in front of their other side of the road. They've got cones up in the middle of their lane that says road closed as well. So it's probably been closed here as well, I bet it might just be closing the night. So I can see cones from here, other side of railway line. Yeah, train's just coming into the station. I just leave. Uh, just coming in, I think. Don't know how long the station is, but it's a long train. Don't stop on line. <laughs> oh, it's all fun and games and you just gotta laugh aren't you at stuff like this oh we're officially late it's 801 we've got, we've got a train online oh why aren't they in communication with each other because they'll have ticket guy at back probably and just tell him keep going keep going stop Instead of blocking road. It's unbelievable. I only want to get to this job, get to Otley, get loaded and get down the road to Gateway. We can't even do that. Can't even do that at minute. These probably shouldn't really stop like that, these trains. Because if that train breaks down now and can't get going, well, we're all buggered at the minute. You know, they should have someone that can radio him and tell him to keep going, you clear that line now, then thing can go up. There we go, it's going. It's moving. Yeah, four minutes we've been here. That bike must have been at least five minutes here. It's going to be a bit chaotic this, I think. We're going. 
can imagine the fuel tanker behind or whatever is going to go as well. She's probably just missed a train because that thing. <laughs> Woman stood reading a book, went and got on train. Yeah, that says road closed here. So, half a mile away, and then we can turn off of this road. I'll just go out this way we've come in. It's the way I usually come out. We're not going all the way. Come shortest route. We've got to try and save time now. I'm in my cup time. So we need to be leaving Riley's no later than I'd say half ten to be able to get to Watley for twelve. So that's not going to happen. It's eight oh three now. So we turn on this bend somewhere. That's where we turn. if we can make the turn all right yeah we can get round straight away no car coming up oh god i'm glad to be on this bloody road this has been testing this morning well, that tank has kept going up so it must be going to there's an industrial estate further up the road you see it must be in and out all time i'll leave how long it's took us to get to this job just cannot believe it I'd be more annoyed if there was actually one of ours already here and they've not realised as well, but you know. Oh, there's no one here. No truck here whatsoever at the minute here. So we'll get in straight onto the Waybridge and hopefully we can get loaded and maybe out of here just before 9 o'clock maybe. So, yeah, it's not a bad sight. I've done this quite a few times, this one to be fair. It is one of the, it is one of the better recycling places to come to. Really is. So eight oh five. So you know we could have been here ages ago, but signs signs had different ideas. So let's get on this way bridge and we'll get weighed in. If there's even anyone here, is anyone here at Waybridge? There's no one at Weybridge office. Oh God. <laughs> right, let's go get booked in and go get sorted in here. Okay, so we are now loaded. We're loaded and we're just leaving. We've not been long in there actually, just come to half past nine. We were sat on the Weybridge a little bit to get sorted, but we are finally loaded. That was 42 and a half ton, I think, something like that on this. So we've got some weight behind us. I did ask for a 10 o'clock VBS, but they've not sent it through as of yet for Freightland Doncaster. So we're still waiting on that one. We're still going, I think plans are still the same. We're still heading to Otley. We're still heading down a gateway. So we'll get a good day out of today. Which is all good. So we turn right out of here. We're 28 mile away from Freightliner. Oh god, it's not the best junction to the right to see out of. We are out though. Mm, they could do with trimming that tree back a little bit, couldn't they? This bush on the right. Well, never mind, we're out. Take it steady, you can get out near enough anyway. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully they can grab us a 10 o'clock BBS. It's got us there at quarter past 10 at the moment. So we shouldn't be too bad for getting to Watley really. I'm hoping, we're hoping we can get a good turnaround and get up there for, let's like say before half 12 would be nice. You know, damage limitations and all that lot. So but at least we know we can get out down here. <laughs> Says they've been there weeks, them um, road closed signs. Been there weeks. They just don't seem to get rid of them. So we're turning right here. This is busier road to get out onto. This is harder one. This is a blind bend to the right, near enough. There we 
go. They're all right. It's like the last time I probably came here, the trees might have been in blooms to have other leaves on. But they're, um, yeah, there's no leaves in them now, so you can see quite a lot better. So that's all good. So let's get, I'll go off and run the office now and see if they've got that 10 o'clock BBS. Still a train coming. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll get over to Freightliner in Doncaster now. So we're at Freightliner Donny, we've got 95130. The BBS, Blue Sea, that's where I thought it'd be anyway. Wait. Please wait for driving area to be free. It's picking up them again, isn't it? Picks up them bollards. Did this last time we were in here, didn't it? There we go. All right, let's get round and get this off. We had a good run, to be fair. We have had a good run. I'm just watching the things on the floor. Ah, we're clear. We're clear, we're in. So, yeah, we've just been steady away. We've been flat out all the way back. Um, got a bit of a bottleneck getting through Howden, but we got out. We got out unscathed, that's the main thing. So, we'll be 25 past 10 it currently is. Need to put arrived at Doncaster, so that we're here. And then we're round to Riley's to get one on to get up to Otley for as soon as possible. I don't think it's gonna be on time, but you know, I could have mistimed things and that. So when we get in position here, I'll put postcode in and see how far away we actually are. Hopefully we're not too bad, but we will see. I think it's, cause it's a bit out there. It's top side of Leeds. It's a funny one to get to really. It is a bit of a funny one to get to. The job itself's all right. I've done it. I've done it a couple of times, but not. In, I haven't done it lately. It's been a while since I last did it. it has been a while since I last did it. So we're coming round over the railway lines, and this is Blue Sea down here. Don't look like any ones in the lifters yet to start lifting it. Come and lift this box. He's coming down the stairs now, actually. I can see his orange eyes. He's just coming out to that heavy lifter on the right there. So, it shouldn't be too bad then. So, let's oh, we'll finish this job because we're, we're going to get the box off. Uh, 131206 is the mileage save there we go we'll start the next one as well so postcode we're going to is going to weedman with weedman whiteley limited paul paper mills otley ls21 1 rp yeah that's where it is that's where it is Let's have a look, what's it saying? What's it calculates? Hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm far off for <laughs> I said hour and a half. Yeah, hour and 20 minutes for 46 mile away. So, we need to, we've got a zero at 1146 at the minute, so we need to be out of, we need to be out of Riley's in probably in less than 15 minutes. Oh, oh well, we should hopefully be there for half 12. You know, that's, damage limitations really in it so it's um we'll settle for that so all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna shoot off and get this box off get straight around and riley's get the box on and i'll pick you up when we're probably getting further up the a1 or something like that closer to the job and we know a bigger picture of what's happening from there Uh, we're on the A1, just come off on the M62 onto it to come round, it was 10 minutes quicker coming round, so we'll try and save a bit of time. Did try filming getting the box on, don't know if the footage is going to be saveable or not because the camera crashed. And I just had trouble with one of the cameras again trying to get it to turn on as well, so... <laughs> 
it's um, it's going well at the minute <laughs> oh it's Thursday so we're getting there we're 26 mile away we'll be 12 mile away when we get off the A1 so we're 14 mile to getting off at junction 45 for Otley so we're doing all right they only had one boxing at Riley's though for Zim so I'll have to see what well I know it's all right inside for me but you should load it it should be all right I think it's on pallets that they're doing here I don't think it's a paper mill but they're not big rolls of paper I think they're just pallet on pallets so it should be all right they should load this but we have a choice we have to take a box so we've got a box they've not specified a certain grade of box so it's clear inside so it's on and gone it's on and gone at the minute so we'll get up here hopefully everything's all right and then we can start making our way south to uh, london gateway and go get loaded oh go get the box off and go see what we're doing after that well zim have cancelled the job we're not doing this hotly now it's there every time in it nearly every single time we get set up, we put the effort in, we sort things out for them. Bang, goes cancelled. Or took off of us. You know, it's motivation to do it. So, we've just got to turn around, head to the lead yard now and pop into office and see them. I just want to go, I'd rather just go back to Doncaster now and just go home. It's so, so, so frustrating from them. It is just agonisingly frustrating from them because it's. You know, I don't want to do another job this afternoon now. Nah. I just want to go home now nah, because you know, everything that we had plans ruined now. Ruined, you know, I met plans around it for the weekend, they go wrong. So Oh god. Well, let's get to Lee Yard and see what they can find for us. Okay, so in a never ending tale of things that's just, just leaving Leeds it's just a job for Tuesday now so we've gone from having a nice run today some nice overtime to job for Tuesday 9 o'clock Grimsby back to Doncaster it is just so frustrating from them it really is just so frustrating it's I know it's how work falls and that, but you know, it's hard to, to take it personally at times when it's going well, going well, you try helping them out and you get nothing back, so. We were actually going to uh, wait for a driver that Adele who dropped the trailer off for us this morning and collected the box last night for us. Her truck's going into service at Daff at Whitwood. So I said I'd pick her up and all that lot, but she's just getting loaded down at Sheffield now. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take this back to Riley's, this, this box, get it off. Um, there's a box to collect for Monday out of Freight on a Doncaster, but I, don't, I might just say, you know what, I might get that on a Monday, I just can't be bothered as such. Um, and then we'll go get my car, because I, I live at Castleford anyway, so you know, if we get back now, get the box off, I can beat the traffic coming back at least. So, you know, at least if I just pick her up from Whitwood and bring her back to the lead yard here in my car, it's only down the road to, to um, Castleford then for me home. So it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad, but, you know, it's... Just got to try and take the hit sometimes, ain't you? you know? It's, um, it is frustrating. There is two Tilbury drivers up here, apparently. And I've seen one of them going with a Zim box on as well, empty. So I bet they've got, I bet they've got the job. They just cancelled it for me. Just sent them instead to run it late. So, oh well, just got to try and pick myself up again. Oh, thought we were trying to do right, but you know it just never worked out. So let's get back over to Doncaster and get sorted out for Monday. Hi, so we just got to Doncaster, we just nipped into Morrison's garage to, I could, I could have gone but I couldn't see Hobbit Roundabout because of all the signs on it. 
Yeah, just been in to grab a meal, DL. It's been a been a while since I've had some lunch. This change gear just then and start pulling in second with an empty box on. That's why we're so slow out of the well, we're so quick off the line, but so slow out of the junction. So yeah, we'll come get this off. We're just getting a 20 footer run out of Freeland had done it for Monday, we got on Tuesday, sorry, we got a nine o'clock um we got we got nine o'clock Grimsby. It's a place I've not done before called Technical Absorbance. It's at the same place as that lensing fibre that we did did, did this week. And that's back to Freight and Doncaster, so what I think I might do is I might just get off and end this video just so I'm not just droning on because you know I'm in in a bit of a mood and I just want to keep it going and being down the mood so it's I'm not, I'm not in the mood I'm getting used to it I'm getting over it now but it's just but we're not doing anything we're literally just going to get the box on and then they go pack up so they're just rambling on and rambling on so we've got a long clip in it earlier from trying to get into that job this morning so I will shut up and get off and I will see you all in the next one. Okay, so it's 10 seconds on from that last clip. I remember I didn't do the mileage review. <laughs> so a comment in the week asking about doing a tachograph review, but I'm not really sure what you sort of mean by that in a way, because I can sort of maybe start putting the mileage of the tachograph at the start of the week in the first video then at the end of the last video so we can work it out from that maybe I'll have a bit of a think about that over the weekend but on the truck we've done 830 miles this week we've been pretty local to be fair and I shouldn't have done that because it took all the screen off and then we've done 2202 for the fortnight so we'd have been over a thousand miles for this week if we'd have got down a gateway but we haven't but it's ending the gate is opening the gate now so I will now get off and end this video and I will see you on the next one.